Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are in New York City today with Michael Zayas from The Best of Everything New York. How are you? I'm doing COVID well. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Same, COVID well. No, we're, since, since we're all kind of in the epicenter of where it all started. So uh, I guess uh, we have a different exactly. frame, a take on everything compared to everyone else. We do. I am thankful, though, that I am in New York at this point in the pandemic because our rates of transmission are so much lower. So at oh, least yeah. thank God for that. Exactly. But no, you've got this whole history uh, in hospitality and branding and marketing. And, uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about that, because obviously that must have kind of allowed you to segue into what you're doing today. It did. So... I have a, a long, illustrious career in service and hospitality industry, over 20 years, I'll say that. Wow. And I've worked with a lot of notable brands, as well as just your mom and pop businesses, like when I was in high school and college. So, yeah. you know, working through the service and hospitality industry, and then as the world changed digitally, I decided to pivot and work specifically over the last 10 years in digital marketing for hospitality, travel, and tourism. So SEO, SEM, uh, customer acquisition, brand development, and most of my career has been centered around New York and working with all the various travel and tourism boards and chambers of commerce in the five boroughs. Yeah, that's wow. That's excellent. And so even before we talk about the best of everything in New York, let's go ahead and take a look at it. At a, I call it a sizzle reel of your business here. Fabulous. Fantastic. You've done a great job with all that. So uh, tell us about it. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us, tell us what sure. it's all about. So, I will. So in January of this year, pre-COVID, I thought it was time for me to actually launch what I had always wanted to uh, launch in New York. And that is a platform that focuses on the actual people that make the city and state special. It's not about an attraction. It's not about a rating or a review. It's not about a star rating. It's about a person, their talent, their business, and you as a viewer or a consumer, hopefully making that emotional connection with that person's story and their talent and their creation, and hopefully wanting to go and experience that. So in the you know short video clips and sizzle reels that I made, I used all real New Yorkers, artists, business people. The one that you just played, uh, the theme is from a very prominent queer DJ, uh, Laurent, and he's okay. also the founder of Royal Advisor Records, which is 10 years old this year. Okay. So speaking about diversity, queer culture, obviously, as you know, is a big part of the New York experience. So you're always going to find that representation uh, on my channels and platforms, especially because I've been a lifelong uh, LGBTQ and healthcare activist and advocate for my entire life. Wow, well, that's fantastic! And uh, but I mean, now that with you know everything kind of upside down, how are you, have you had to make changes and uh, uh, to the business, especially when it comes to tourism and yes. people wanting to come to New York? Yes. So the good thing is that the focus of the business is on actual people who live and work in New York, yeah. city or state. So my core group of people that I would work with are still here. The tough part was when I was just about to launch, we were in a shutdown. So I couldn't go visit a business, take footage, pictures, videos, because the businesses were closed. And right now, unfortunately, the businesses are struggling to survive. So working with them now, trying to find unique ways of getting the word out about what they do and who they are. And especially within the queer community, I've seen some real uh, ingenuity and just being able to pivot to online 
shows online, cocktail yeah. shows online, yeah. cooking shows online. So I've basically taken my cues from them and pushing out their message because basically this is a platform about people. So whatever the people are doing, I'm going to be promoting for them. No wonder we connected so well. <laughs> well, the last time I saw you was at the Highline Hotel, which is actually one of my favorite hotels. So I'll never yep. forget that. <laughs> I remember, I remember that, and that's the thing is that I'm, you know, I think we're we're all on the same page, just hopeful that, uh, and in fact, perhaps you might be well positioned so that when things do start to turn around, which we know it will, we just don't know when. And one thing, when you know, when people right. when things start to open up and and uh and tourists do start to come back to new york it seems like you're very well positioned i mean i would say i'm hopeful that uh nyc and company and the entire team would would fully embrace what you're doing and be able to help help uh bring people in yes uh they are i actually spoke with them on friday about how we can actually work together Excellent. they actually are running a campaign it's called the uh, hashtag all in nyc okay. and they're now promoting things to do in New York for actual New Yorkers. Yeah. So hopefully I will also be partnering with them uh, in the near future. I've worked with them for years. I love them all and the work they do. And I'm so glad that they are still out there yeah. promoting and marketing even now so that we stay top of mind for people for when they're ready to come back. And it's wonderful. They've had, you know, Fred Dixon, the CEO. I mean, I've known him way back when, you know, he was just just a regular guy at NYC and company, but he used to be very present at a right. lot of IGLTA events. And uh, I remember connecting with him in Montreal and other places. And it's just great because, you know, we all know each other as real people as opposed to the positions we have in life. And so I just, uh, the, he and their whole team are very near and dear to my heart. Yes, me too. And at the end of the day, all we have is our relationships. And that's, I think, one thing that this pandemic has really hammered home to me. If I didn't know it already, I really know it now. It's all about relationships and uh, the friendships and camaraderie you build over the years in your community. So basically, I'm taking this year to just work in the community and give back even more and yeah. promote the heck out of everybody's businesses. <laughs> I love that. Well, well, <laughs> said. well said. I look forward to when we can reconnect again too at Highline Hotel or any of the other events that hopefully we'll be able to start attending here in the next 2021. Yeah, 2021, 22, we'll see, <laughs> you know. I've, I've almost, uh, for in-person events, as much as I'd like to think 2021 is going to happen, I'm really setting myself up to not be disappointed and yes. I'm full steam ahead towards 2022. <laughs> I hear you. Well, it will be great to see you and uh, we'll make sure to have all the, not only the links to the work you do, but then also I'll, re I'll remember to hashtag these posts with all in NYC. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you soon. You too. Thanks for being here. All right. Bye. Take care.